I'm sure you're all pretty much aware this is the Coleco controller for the ad and same as the ColecoVision one it's just beige it really isn't that great of a controller it's hard to manipulate the buttons are badly placed it's awkward to hold this on the other hand is much easier to use we all kind of grew up with this also this is for the NES this is actually a knockoff generic version that runs on the PC what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some simple hacking to make it so that I can replace that with that first thing I'm gonna do is take it apart this one has four screws holding it together Once we get those off, we can set that to the side. There's nothing in there, it's just a case with screws. I'm just gonna set that to the side. Then there's one screw holding it in place in here. And the wire. They're very cheaply made. Ooh, that one screw there. I said remove that one screw there. Probably one more turn. Yeah. Put that to the side. Remove the wire from the holder. And that's your buttons. We'll put that to the side. We don't need to touch that again. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to modify it. Now to do that, what I did is I took... I me trying to pick up my paper that's sitting on the table over here. I took and I made a scan of this. Then looking at this and looking at the breakout for how the ColecoVision controller works. I figured out which wires I have to hook up where and what I have to cut. For right now, I'm just going to get my up, down, left, right, and left and right fire buttons on. After I get that working, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to change this. Hmm. Can I flip this over so you can see? Yeah, I can. I'm going to change the select and start to be either 1 and 2 or 1 and 5. Probably 1 and 2. Or maybe just even 1. We'll see. I'm going to figure out which one it is, but I'm going to modify this. To do that, i got to cut a few traces, remove some wires, do some soldering. So, I'm going to get started here. Alright, my battery died before I was able to, find, to explain exactly what I'm going to do here. But looking at this, and looking at this here, we see that right, left, down, and up all use line number 8 then connect to either line one, two, three, or four. So looking at the design layout here, and you can see it over here too, all the directional buttons are all connected with this one trace on the outside. And then they have individual traces. So this right here is my line eight, because that connects to all the buttons. It also goes over here too, that's why I have this line here that I gotta cut it there. And then these right here is my one, two, three, and four that I gotta connect to. And the nice thing is line eight or that one button that they're all connected to comes over and connects directly to that wire there. So that's where I'm gonna hook up one wire. Then these right here I'm gonna have to out in here, because there they are, I see one, two, three, four, that's them right there. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That's those guys right there. I'm going to need to get those to somehow take some solder. Get rid of that there. I see I got a cut here too. Because that goes over to this stuff in here. And I'm not I'm not going to remove everything. I just want to take it out of the circuit. So, we're going to get started here now. I'll turn some music on and we'll get going.
Okay, now studying this right here. See, I'll, I need to put a solder joint in that. But see, this comes over here and gets very close to that. Can I bridge that? That way I can get it over to here. Maybe I can. If I can bridge that, then I can get over there. Then I can bridge one down here. I can get these. I can get a couple of them in here. See, I have all these different pads here. If I can bridge those pads, let's see. If I can bridge that one there, that'll give me that pad for that one. That one I can bridge to that one. I'll give me that pad for that one. Those two, that takes care of these two right here. Then I have these two over here. Hmm. Wish I can get them up to here, but I can't. If I can get up to here. Hmm. Nope, I can't get up to there. But we'll figure this one out. I do have a couple of holes here and there. I just have to make sure that I don't, like for instance, this is this right here. I just have to make sure that I don't put any solder wherever this thing goes. I think it goes this way. I don't have any solder or wires directly behind this pad because I don't want to like lift up on it and cause an issue. So, that's the start. 